All right, everybody, welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Today, I wanted to talk about hex perks. Um, more specifically, ways to rework them. Now, I don't actually think many of the hex perks need to be reworked, quote-unquote, on what they actually do. However, with some of the newer hex perks, such as Plaything, Face the Darkness, and uh, Hex 2 Can Play, I think we've realized a trend that I think behavior needs to go back and retroactively add to the other hexes. So I'm going to show a clip real quick of uh, me using a hex on a legion build on Midwitch. And this is the very beginning of the game to when I was able to get to the survivors as fast as possible. Hey, speak of the devil. Wait, one distortion user? Hey, they spawned on my totem, chat. What a fucking shocker. I have to go protect that. Are you... Now, the hex was completely destroyed immediately. I had... There was literally nothing I could do. They spawned right on top of it. They were able to cleanse it. So, how would I fix this? Well, what we've noticed with Hex 2 can play and face the darkness and plaything. none of these hexes get lit until their activation comes through in some way. So for example, with Hex 2 can play, it doesn't actually get lit until after the stuns happen and you're able to blind them. That's when the hex is lit, so then they can go out and find it. With face the darkness, it doesn't get lit till a survivor is injured. With Plaything, it doesn't get lit until the survivor is hooked for the first time. Plaything's a little different because of how it works, because it's individually tied to each survivor. Um, but bes beside the point, the other two don't start until their effects happen. And that's how I would just retroactively go back and fix all the hexes. I don't think it would be that even that difficult to do. There is one exception to this, and I'll get to that once I go through all of them. Devour Hope. Doesn't happen until, the, until you get one stack. I don't think it would be that powerful. Ruin doesn't happen until someone gets off a gen and starts the ruin effect. Crowd control doesn't happen until someone vaults a window. Blood favor doesn't happen until you hit somebody near a pallet and it blocks it. Like all of these, all of these hexes have conditions to them that could easily have the totem not be lit until the effect happens. There are, as I said, two, two that don't work this way and would need to be or wouldn't need to be adjusted, kind of. The first one is Undying. Now, Undying would be a little strange to fix, um, but I think the simple solution would just make it so it doesn't light until another totem lights. Or, you know what, just keep it lit at the beginning of the match. Why not? Uh, I, I don't think it would be that big of a deal, and it would kind of make Undying not as necessary, I feel, with this change. Um, the other one is Haunted Grounds. Now, because I brought this, uh, this idea up to a few people, and people said, well, what about Haunted Grounds? I, I, once again, I don't see the issue with making Haunting Grounds be the exception to the rule and have it just light. So if someone sees a lit totem at the beginning of the match, if they weren't in the chase with the first person, they don't know. So they might just go to it and do it, and at that point, that's just them being too greedy and impulsive and just doing the hex and being punished for it like it's kind of supposed to do. Um, so I, I, th I think it's it's perfectly fine. There are so many hexes in this game that all do certain things that, that their conditions, I feel, could be met to a point to where the hexes don't have to be lit till they go off. This would prevent survivors from spawning on a hex and immediately doing it before the killer can even do anything about it. Um, and I get it, that's the risk-reward to hex perks, I understand that. But it does feel very bad that if you spawn into a map and there was physically no way for you to protect your hex. I actually think hex perks are some of the more healthy perks in the game because of the fact that they can be cleansed. Now, don't get me wrong, someone's going to bring up, oh, what about a hex, uh, like hex on, on Demogorgon, where they just protect them, or on Twins, or on, on the Desicary. That's a whole different playstyle, and if they're doing that, just go do gens. Um, honestly speaking, if they're devoting their entire build to protecting their hexes, um, and their entire playstyle to doing that, then go do gens, and try to lead them away from the, from the totem as best you can. It's really all you can do. Um, but I, I don't think there, there's, 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 there's hexes in this game that are so powerful that don't get earned. I have made this very clear that I think Devour Hope is one of, one of if not the best design perk in the game. Um, from a fair perspective. 
And same with a lot of the other hex perks. I mean, crowd control is perfectly fine. I think blood favor is perfectly fine. Um, ruin, I think now is perfectly fine. Even back in the day, I think it was perfectly fine, but that's a, that's a whole other discussion. Um, but yeah, I, I, I would, I would love them to retroactively do this because once again, I wouldn't even be thinking about this or bringing this up if I hadn't noticed that they've been doing this with more of the recent hexes. Like hex two can play. I could easily see that being just a hex that does what it does and spawns at the beginning of the match, but they gave it a condition to activate, which means that it doesn't light until after that. So it, it's just, it just makes it so that the totem doesn't immediately go away at the beginning of the match. You can actually get some use out of it throughout it. Um, which in turn would cause more slowdown because it means someone can't just spawn on it, get rid of it in the first 30 seconds. They actually have to go out into the mid during the mid game and go find it, or even during the early game, depending on the hacks. I I'm sure crowd control would probably get lit almost immediately. Um, and it wouldn't completely solve the issue with hexes because in theory, if you start chasing someone immediately with something like crowd control and the hex that the survivors are right next to happens to light up, well, then it's the same situation. The difference is I don't feel like I was cheated in that situation. I don't feel like the survivor just randomly spawned right on top of it and there was nothing I could do. During that chase, if I see crowd control off, I can take note of where it is and start heading that direction. Um, or maybe it'll be the same issue. Who knows? In any case, let me know what you guys think of this idea. I really do think this is like the best solution to kind of fix hexes. Um, not to say hexes are bad, once again. It's just... These little things like this are very, very irritating um, from both sides. Because if you bring, like, one hex and it gets cleansed at the beginning of the match, you're basically playing with three perks now. And it just, yeah, just feels bad. Uh, as always, I love y'all. Uh, I would love to hear what y'all have to say. And, uh, yeah, bye. Subscribe, damn it. I'll be back. I always come back and so should you, you moron.